Welcome back, y'all. Today we're breaking out the Tokyo rig for the first time on the channel. A rig I was not confident in until recently, at which point in time it's probably going to replace my Texas rig. 80% of the time I want to throw something on the bottom and catch those fish. We have a newfound confidence in this bait. I think you're going to really enjoy it. We've caught over 50 plus catches on this thing, most of which are in today's video. A lot of raw fishing today. Enjoy. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely. Oh. Bitch, I get high. Looking at the clock, Ooh. still falling like rock. Yeah, I'm headed to the bus, then I'm falling like yeah. The journey begins by trying to find a Tokyo rig in your local market. You can buy these things online, but I literally was so hyped I wanted to wake up early and try to go find them and immediately get to fishing. Stop by Academy. Bam. They only had the HD wide gap, so I grabbed them in the 2 aught and the 4 aught, so I've got multiple different sizes. I then went over to Field and Stream, you know, Dick Sporting Goods. That place is always loaded. They didn't have much more selection, but they did have the flipping. So I went ahead and grabbed some 4 aught flipping. So I want to showcase all these techniques today with the Tokyo rig, but possibly the one I was most excited about, and I thought I wasn't going to be able to find, Shields. Thank goodness. Not only do they have the flipping, not only do they have the wide gap, but they have the finesse. Nico. And I even found it in the little baby one aught. Wait, where'd it go? I've got them in my hands. These are what I'm most excited about. Look at that little finesse Tokyo. They've also got like a HD worm without the EWG, which I like, and they've got a value pack here. So 15 bucks gets you 10 pieces. Comes out to $1.50 a piece instead of like $2.50 a piece for the majority of these. Some of them are $2 a piece. That is a bargain if you're gonna be using these things. All right, we're at the pond. We are 25 bucks in. So at this point, if y'all could please drop the like button. Uh, you know, I'm not getting the views that some of these fishing with norms and AO fishings are these days. So I gotta somehow uh, still be able to afford to make these videos. Forget about a shaky head, man. Not when you got this anymore. This is the, the shaky head killer. In fact, it uh, gets rid of the use for using quite a few other rigs, I feel. We're gonna talk more about that here in a minute. I'm gonna tie this bad boy on straight to the swivel. We're just going to go with the little uni knot. We're throwing the light finesse gear today to start things off. And then we're going to inch our way towards hopefully some bigger and bigger fish after we gain some confidence in fishing this rig with the bait caster setups and some different weight options. Uh, show you how to fish rock, show you how to fish grass, uh, as well as uh, just a hard bottom with this rig right here. What you're going to want to do is slide your weight up onto the rig here. And then you're going to take some pliers and you're just going to barely bend the end of it. Now there's a couple different ways to do this. You could do like a full on loop, all that good stuff. But I have heard that just bending the end is a fantastic option. That way you can easily switch out weights on the fly. If you want to break it down to a lighter weight, you need to move up to a heavier weight. You don't have to retie rigs. You don't have to change out drop shot weights. You literally just unbend it. You slide up another bullet or different style weight, depending on the cover you're fishing and you're good to go. So it already seems very weird and unorthodox if you're not used to throwing this rig which i am not but after watching all those videos last night i'm extremely confident and now i was gonna go with something like a, a slim shake worm but i just grabbed this little one size hook to start things off so i'm thinking something even smaller like maybe a uh, a drag and drop a drop shot worm right but then i thought to myself i rarely ever fish these smaller trench hogs and this seems like it could be a phenomenal bait to rig up on here so i know it's a little large for this hook that's okay what i think i may do is chop down the front end a little bit Okay, just to be a little bit more bite sized and poke all the way through the plastic now. And then I'm just gonna almost like a Texas rig, just kind of push that top end back in the plastic so we're completely weedless. We can work through the cover. And essentially this is like a drop shot, but it's not gonna rest on the bottom. It's gonna stay elevated a little bit, right? Cause this fixed wire. First time ever throwing a Tokyo rig with the baby trench hog. I think I'm gonna throw the drop shot worm on there next, but let's see if we can catch some fish on this. I am pretty pumped. First cast, I should be able to fling this thing way out there. And we're just gonna let that baby hit the bottom, start giving it those subtle pops. You work this thing a lot, right above the surface. There goes the big swan that greeted us last time we were here too. Got him, first cast, first cast ever with the Tokyo rig, we got a fish. What a confidence instiller, and we were not wrong about the baby trench hog. This is this is worthy of an Instagram story. Now that's funny, okay. I think we're onto something. If we can catch one first cast, you've got to be kidding me. There's no fishing in this pond. I thought it says residents are allowed to. No. Okay, all right, well thank you. 
Got our second one. Just got the boot. Turn left onto the Spot number two, we finna switch things up. We're going drag and drop on them. Since we're already two fish in, in just minutes, I just wanna show some variants, and this is gonna fit perfectly on this hook. This is the larger size of the drag and drop right here. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna drop it right here. This is insane, y'all. I'm literally working through chunk rock. Look at this. Working through the rock down here. It just, it never gets hung up so sick and it's a 360 degree swivel okay so this bait can move freely so even when you're not working it it's getting worked with the current all right and it's still staying elevated off the bottom so it's an easier target as all that dust is settling where the weight is i mean this is ridiculous the thing looks so good i might never not have a tokyo rig tied on again not liking pond number two compared to pond number one how have i not caught a fish here Got him. There we go. First one at the next spot. I just switched back to the trench hog, everybody. Oh, and this is Alabama cross, so something to consider. Check that little dude out. Nothing but small bass so far, but this is an epic day so far, roaming around the city, hitting some new water. We're gonna roam the banks and try and find them on the old Tokyo. Look at this setup, dudes. I was just, maybe intimidated is the word. I just, I, I thought it looked so weird. I didn't have any confidence in it. It's like throwing a buzz bait all over again for the first time. That was such a weird bait to catch fish on for the first time. Didn't have anybody show me how to do it. I just kind of like, you know, happened to see him. I saw some videos, but I just didn't believe it in first use. There's no way a fish is gonna come eat this goofy looking thing on the surface, and sure enough, it did. So I'm fishing thick grass right now, and you can see I got a little bit on there. Like, I'm not gonna tell you this thing's just completely weedless. It just kind of shook itself free. As long as you're not getting snagged, and you're throwing something that is so finesse and easy to bite, I just don't see the downside, really. Okay. Oh, fish on. Ha, <laughs> ah, little bass. <laughs> oh, he's on the bank. There he goes. Okay, well, he came off. Just on the phone with Devin, had another fish, and it wasn't big, so I think we gotta keep, I think we gotta keep pond hopping. Look at how low it is. I don't even know if there's any life left in here. That was a bust, but we tried. Imagine cranking this. Got him. Let's go, come on. He's not surfacing either. Could be a decent one, y'all. Baby hog, there we go. Come on up here. Wow, these things are skinny out here. What is going on? Biggest one of the day. And uh, this place is not looking healthy. Everything's dying, everything's dying. Grass on the top, it's turning over. The water is not clear. This spot is normally pretty clear, but there's the first one today. You could use an actual Food items, sir. I think those fake plastics, they're not helping you with your calorie deficit. Got it? He's got it. Little guy. Cannot believe this, y'all. First day fishing the Tokyo rig and it is putting in work. Oh, right where we're supposed to be. Dang. Picked it up, grabbed it, took it away from the brush, and I missed the hook set. I'm not going to get many more opportunities by this, but if any, a big one. Oh my! That was four. That was four plus. Oh, that would have been a solid one. I saw a wake as soon as we threw it down there. Nice one, right by the drain. Can never neglect it. I wasn't gonna cast here, it's just so shallow. I mean, it's just inches of water. Little bit of grass, or I mean, not a little bit of grass, just a shallow, narrow passageway for that fish to get back here. And look at that Tokyo rig, choked. We're moving up with each catch. We did spook that four pounder off the bank. I'm gonna let you go right where you came from. And we're gonna try and get one on the Bandito bug now. That was perfect, because I was just ready to switch things up and re-rig to the Bandito. But I was like, well, let me flip this worm in here. <laughs> and you forget that this thing's actually capable of punching too. I mean, it's not like this is extremely thick stuff here, but you do got to get through it. And a quarter ounce Texas rig would have probably sat on the top. This is a half ounce, but that weight leads the way. So it helps actually get through um, easier. It's pretty crazy when you really break it down and think about it. Inches of water. That's the only way really because completely shallow. Insane. That was cool. Now, this is what you probably figured you were going to see right off the bat. 
the old bandito bug. We gotta warm ourselves up before we get to this though. Now there's almost like this little creek channel in the middle here too. Never know what might just be lurking out there in the center. Also, I wasn't gonna mention this, but we've tied a double uni knot for years and I've come to hate it. I just, I, I break them. Doesn't matter the line quality, I break them. So I went with an FG knot, but this is like, there's a little twist to this FG knot. I think a lot of people add their little twist to make sure it doesn't come undone, but I feel much more confident in this leader knot. And so if y'all want a video on that, holler at me. Let me know in the comments section because I will definitely post it. Uh, it took me like 15 minutes to tie the first two. And now I think I've got them down a little bit better and I understand why the improvements that I have seen people mention are made in the knot. And so I feel pretty confident in uh, explaining it to y'all, but I just want to make sure it's something you want to see. Otherwise I won't waste the breath. Uh, but you know, if you want to go from braid to floral carbon or monofilament, you know, just have any sort of leader, right? So maybe the fish don't see it. Um, things of that nature you're gonna have to tie a leader knot so I've got braid as the main line on here probably 50 pound even though it's not really necessary uh, for today's use and uh, just working that go-to rod by the way this is just seven foot medium heavy fast action all standard goodies here 20 pound floral carbon is tied to the braid got a pincher in an arm no bueno oh wow we got another little nibble and there we go he's on all right yeah, that's the thing. These little dudes, they will steal your pinchers. Who originally came up with the Tokyo rig? Who like thought of the short wire, right? That's very interesting. It seems like after you fish it, where has this been and why did nobody think of it sooner? But then it just seems so unorthodox and nobody would have really thought this is a good idea at first until they really put in the work. So I'm, I'm quite curious. There is some grass here. I just thought it might be weedless, but it'll still get some good old grassy grass on there. I get high. I ain't looking at the clock, still falling like rock. Yeah, I'm headed to the bus, then I'm falling like yeah. right off the timber on the Tokyo boys. Come on. Tokyo just putting in work. Look at that wire bent. We're gonna have to fix that. We're gonna find a big one at this spot. I think the baby hoggy doggy might be the Tokyo rig bait of choice, y'all. I mean, even for a larger size hook on a non-spinning outfit. But this is just so, it's like, it's like the perfect mixture of a nice little finesse bait, right? It's kind of like the length of maybe one of those smaller shaky heads or even the drag and drop. Okay, like four and a half inch. I mean, it's a nice bait that will get bit by bigs too, for real. First one that really bent this wire the entire day. So what I'm choosing to do after a half day of fishing, this is not go all the way through the bait and just expose it back in there. I'm choosing to just kind of sink it almost like I'm throwing a flipping bait. And it seems to be working out really well. So I'm just literally tossing it right there. I never even pushed all the way through the bait. So it's been a little bit better for me today, whether I'm talking about this uh, Nico setup or if I'm talking about that EWG hook, I seem to prefer this now. Oh gosh, I'm snagged. Am I on grass? Yes, I think I was just on grass. So now after I popped it free, I'm letting it drop again because sometimes you come out of that grass, you pop in front of a bass face, you just let it fall. That's going to be an optimal time for a bite. Don't just think, oh, wow, that wasn't a bite either. That was more grass. Don't just think that that's a bite. He's running with it. He's got it. Okay, we got him. It's a little fish. Yeah. Oh, he came back for it, though. That was dope. We didn't catch that fish. It was a bass. I did see it. Now I forgot my train of thought, but that's probably fine. I need to stop talking and start catching, so. Nice little grouping of grass right here, a little isolated patch. Could be some small bait hanging on it. Big fish are going to be around. That's the case, and I'm, I'm telling you, textbook baby friggin textbook okay i don't even care to catch that fish and be quiet anymore can i just get a hit of the like button for that call out right there that was literally what i said was going to happen grass patch little fish were there big fish ambushed it she's got it there we go there we go that was another decent call out I swiped at it but it kind of got you didn't it? all right thanks bud back to back cast off the point let's go come on what do we got Trying to keep it tight. Nice fish, come on. Another point for the point. What I'm finding too is you don't want to go through too much of the plastic. You want to make a hasty exit because if you go through a little extra, 
then it doesn't sit on here too well and have enough space to let that swivel do its thing, okay? It'll just push right up against it, so just got to do a little skin hook at the top. So you will notice your plastics rip on these smaller hooks. They're feeding. I'm just letting these things come to me. I'm just kind of popping that rod tip, barely even working it in. I mean, it's just wiggling in the current. I've had days here where I get skunked too, so this Tokyo rig on. Golly, you can't miss out there off the point today. Can't say that's usual. I've fished this point a time or two, but they're on it today. Got him. Just out a little further. I'm gonna, oh, I was gonna say, I'm gonna tighten up that drag just a little bit. It's, it's slipping. I want just a little less slippage, especially if it's gonna be that size. And we got another one. Oh, oh my gosh. Did that just happen? Hold on a second. Hold on. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> That thing just shot out of the other bass's mouth that we had way out deep. And then this guy came up and smoked it as soon as it hit the water up shallow. That was hilarious. I can't say something that funny has ever happened. Flip that phone vertical real quick and hit that like button. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, the bait keeper slid down. Haven't had that happen yet. My bait keeper literally slid down the hook. Okay. Just was able to kind of twist it and slide it up. Can you say we built up some confidence? I hope it has helped y'all as well at home because one of the ways I gain the most confidence in a new bait is by watching fishing videos on youtube i mean that's literally why i went and grabbed this i was like how have i fished for years and years and years and this thing's been hot for like the last year or two and i've just been overlooking it again and again and again not today y'all today's the day i can just let it sit in one spot just pop 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 and if i do this long enough i'm gonna get a hit i gotta reel down a little bit of slack i've been working it for about 20 seconds. Making a little noise too, that weight's clanking against the bottom of that to Tokyo rig. Where have you been all my life? Has he got it? He's got it, he's got it. Hooked up, what do we got? I can't tell, I can't tell. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. What is this, it's not surfacing. I, oh, okay. You had me hyped. The biggest fight for the, not smallest fish, but a good fight for your size, dude. You had the viewers fooled, I think. Holy smokes. Yeah, see, I was kind of curious. Look at that. The bait keeper seems to be free floating at this point. Do I have to get the pliers out every time? No, but I don't think it's going to stay. I'm going to have to bust out the old super glue. Sliding around. It's locked in pretty good. Haven't caught this many fish in a video in a minute. Honest question. If you were here fishing this spot right now, I'm going to turn away from the wind. Would you continue fishing this looking for a big one, knowing that they're here and they'll cruise around and, and you'll you'll find them? Or would you say, hey, look, I'm only catching smalls. I'm going to move down the bank and, and really hunt these giants down. Well, let me know because I am quite curious what you would do in this scenario. I'm going to stick it out here for just a second. Looks like Jordan's rolling up too. He's probably going to fish it with me. Yep. That's all I'm talking about, boy. Can't miss. Look, Jordan rolls up. He gives us good luck. We caught a sunfish. We caught something different. Hey, I got a good to see you, bro. Oh, here. with the TK. Oh, lordy, lordy. There you go. Every cast, bro. Every cast. I mean, it's just clockwork. My first day ever fishing the Tokyo rig. Oh, no shit. What have I been doing, dude? How come you haven't told me? I have no luck with the Tokyo. It's just me personally. I can't find a rig that's going to beat this thing. Instead of a drop shot? <laughs> exactly. Forget about it. When I first came here, it was all about the chatterbait in the topwater. On. So I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. I don't know what it is yet. Oh, it's a little guy. Okay. So this is that new Black Series combo. Jordan was just complimenting it. This is the the new go-to Black Series rod here. I think it's going to retail for $299. I'd say use my code for 10% off, but one thing is it's not out yet. And another thing is that's a very expensive rod. I don't know if I'd even really buy it. Hard work making videos every day pays off. Dude, I just had my first video ever make over one thousand dollars the discover the ultimate tackle shot video i don't know if you saw that with the worm bar fights 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 he's going left ah lost him though a shaky over yes jordan's hitting me with the right hander they've been up shallow let me hit this right here i'm gonna go by this grass patch don't be surprised let it hit the bottom just just like there he is bro heck yes come on this is a dope rod he's talking about the Guggen one what is this this is the it felt dude i've brought a couple in and then i've got like just barely skin hooked and they come right out i'm all about this tokyo today <laughs> oh my goodness 13 in coalition that's pretty daggum beautiful vamp shad that's a 12 watt beast and 
Are these like affordable? Dude, you can get them right now on Tackle Warehouse, half off. A two pack wow. of these wow. with three beast hooks for $25. What? They're normally $25 a piece. I think he's taking something out of the old working class zero playbook Dude, right there. Everybody, man. This, they're getting it right for that weight. Oh my gosh. Look at this. That's legit. That's I want to throw it, hook. but it's just like, dude, I can't get the distance I need. Like, oh, I'm in that channel. Here, throw it on the spinning reel. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> what are you throwing right now? Are you on that swim jig or something else? That swim bait. Okay, I might have to go back to the hog, man. I'm losing my vibe. Oh, oh, oh! Just let it sit. Dead sticking in the current. It's doing its shaky head thing. I was wiping my eyes from the sunscreen. What a setup. Ow, 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 skin hooked. Got him. That's on the slim shake. Switching it up, y'all. Would be a little bit better with a heavier weight, which I could just put on here in two seconds. I think if I just do a slow, steady retrieve, this is definitely something I would not have pictured would be used on the Tokyo rig until watching some of those films last night. Let me tell you, get a good kick. Oh my gosh, bro. I think we found the lure. Got him. Oh, came off. There we go. This one could be good. This is a little bigger. He's taking us a little. I gotta tighten that drag. All right, come on up. Gotta keep that thing in tip top shape. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. We found the one. Yes, finally, all day. Oh my gosh, it almost pulled the rod out of my hand. Don't come off. Oh gosh, that's the one on the Tokyo rig, boys. We found a good one. Come on, keep this thing tight. Oh my, it's a delicate hook here, okay? So we gotta balance the drag out. Wow, yes, that's what we're looking for. Come on. Light line, this is not good. I stick it. Oh, oh man, yes, nice one on the Tokyo rig. That's what we've been looking for. A little chonker, check him out. I'd give it two and three quarters right there. Okay, the bigs are here. We got to cast out far. No time to dilly dally. Oh, I lost the hog. I am going to be throwing the larger size five inch watermelon red. Got him, got him. Got him. Can't tell what we've got. Come on, what are you? Oh, is this bigger than the last one? Oh goodness. Mm, come on up. Another nice one. Sheesh. Whew, drag and drop, boys. This ain't a bad option right here. I think it's got it. He's got it. Oh, he came off. He left it. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh gosh, that's good. Okay. There we go. Drag and drop. Let's see it, bud. There we go. Come on. Don't worry, I'm gonna get you back in there. Top of the mouth, that's how you want it. Wow. Shout out to these hooks too. They're uh, for how small they are, and I know we got the drag working for us, right? But this thing hasn't bent out all day, so it's gonna take a big one. See ya. Good bite. Oh, dang, came off. I don't know what I have here. It's not coming to the surface. Oh, it's good. It's good. Jordan, this is not small. Come here, bud. Oh gosh. Come here. Just get up here. Just let me drag you. Oh. <laughs> On the drag and drop Tokyo rig. Been fishing all day to find us a nice, healthy chunk like this one right here. We haven't broken out the scale. Now's the time. I think the pigs are just starting to bite, Jay. 1.72. Hey Siri, how many pounds is 1.72 kilograms? 3.79 pounds. Almost a four pounder on the drag and drop, bro. Tokyo rig. We're gonna try and go for some more, man. The sunset bites on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. We have faith. There 
there she goes. Dude, it hit that thing. I was like, yes. <laughs> Whoops. Something caught on there, and I lost that Tokyo rig in two seconds. I don't know if you heard that snap, crackle, pop. Well, hadn't retied all day. The wire was getting so bent up, it was ridiculous. The bait keeper was sliding after almost every cast. Probably isn't the worst thing to break out a new one. I'm even gonna cut a few extra inches because of that snap right there. It's a little frayed, a little extra stretched right there close to where it snapped. What do we got? Here we go. Half ounce. Ooh, that'll really cruise the bottom, but it's a little, little extra for this spinning combo so i'm gonna keep it a quarter basically i went the whole day on two dollars and fifty cents going through some plastics that's just fine wonder if i should throw the watch this i bet this is something you haven't seen before it almost doesn't make too much sense i'm gonna throw a blazing worm out there i'm gonna go june bug i'm gonna really switch things up watch this fish hitting the surface right there come on yep Bites. He's on. He's on. He was hitting the little fish too. Looks good. Good splash. Biggest of the day. Oh wow, that's a good one. That's the biggest of the day. Yep. Boys, that might be a five plus. That might be a five plus. Oh, wow. Whew. That's what we've been looking for. That's what we've been looking for right there. Casted right to him, jumping there after the bait fish, too. There we go, y'all. Four and a half. That's what we need on the blazing worm. Just nuts. Close out the evening on that Tokyo rig. How crazy is that? What a day, y'all. We're gonna have to hit you up with a little recap after this. Just nuts, we've gone through so much today. Ah, to catch that bad boy. Oh, shoot. That's what I'm talking about. How many fish was that, 30? 30 fish today? Jeez. He's got it. Another good one. A lot of golfers around you, so I'm trying to keep it quiet now. There we go. Day two with the Tokyo rig, you guys. We're back out here bringing Devin out for the first time. And I figured we're going to just try and catch as many fish as possible in today's video on this thing. So I brought out, unfortunately for me, what I thought was our Stratic combo, but it's the Sienna. So <laughs> I'm on that cheap reel today. Devin's throwing the uh, Guggen Black combo as I was yesterday. And we just want to tear them up even more, man. So we brought out the secret. We're going to try and go for some bigs today. I brought out the bait that was killing it yesterday. And uh, we're going to even throw some bandito bugs and maybe a couple other baits on the, the one and only, our new favorite confidence bait, the Tokyo rig out here. And this is such a small hook, so it tends to like, your bait kind of gets torn off almost every time. So we just go through plastics or you'll size it down. I just pinched off the last little bit. Yeet! Her first one ever on the Tokyo rig, guys. Heck yes. That did not take long at all. We've been here all of 10 minutes. And look who's rolling up too as she flips it onto the bank. Straight, bro, the one and only. He's throwing a, oh, he's throwing a big swim bait. Going back in the water, just like the smallest pops. So like the silt, it like doesn't get lost in the silt. It just stays right there. And you work it with some firm, quick pops. Dude, it's ridiculous. All right, solid one. Probably like two and a quarter, two and a half. I want to cast deep, but I'm seeing the action up shallow. Very conflicting. Go out to the side. Good one? Yes. I don't have a scale on it. For sure over three. New biggest one on the Tokyo rig. I gotta tell you, this bait is crazy cool. And with this lighter spinning gear, they take it, and this guy was screaming drag. It was so cool. Bye, pretty girl. I've been seeing like all the action right up in the shallows, but I, of course, I want to cast deep. This reel, I will tell you what. Mm -mm -mm. Here's what I'm keying in on. Do you see dead center of your screen the indicator of where those bait fish are? He's pretty much saying this is the spot, boys. I'm headed right towards that overhanging tree. On. There we go. First cast as we move down to where that bird was. No, he came off, you guys. See? That's what I'm talking about. It's an indicator of exactly where these fish are. And he came back and he ate it again, y'all. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely. Oh, strike. 
Dude, that was like a five right there. Did you hear that? Screaming. There he is. You gonna eat it? He ate it. Little guy. Little guy, that's okay. We need some numbers real quick. We gotta get on the board. Man, the hookup ratio with the bandito bug is not as good. I'm just not pushing it all the way through the bait. And for some reason, it is not hooking up like the hog. That's a few fish now. I just tightened up the drag slightly because I want to make sure I get that hook penetration and that didn't even do it. So I don't know if this rod, I think this is like a seven foot rod. I was using that seven foot three yesterday. Had a little bit more beef to it. Bite. He's got it. No. <sighs> He's still got it. Got him. There we go. Nice work. Come on up here. But I'm not lying when I say this Nico one will tear every plastic up. I mean, every, every cast. Every time you get a bite, that little hook just tears right through your plastics. There we go. See, now that hook is exposed, I'm gonna miss less fish. And I probably won't tear the plastic up as much. Let's get this thing out there. Bite. Ah, oh, fudge, dude, what's going on? Lord, he's back. He's back. Come on. What do we got? It has to be small, right? Okay. A couple pounds. <laughs> that bird was right, dude. He was telling us where these fish are at. Nothing but bait under this tree today. It wasn't like that the other day. And here comes all the bass to feed on them. And then they smack that bandito bug. And that drag is a little loose, ain't it? Oh, nice. Okay. First one that's about two pounds. The VMC brand Tokyo rigs, they're like ready to go. All you do is you add your weight and your plastic. And with that exposed hook, you will catch a little bit more grass and it'll completely ruin the presentation. And as you see, I've got grass on the hook right there. So, got it. We came over to where she said they were feeding and we got us probably a three pounder. Might be the biggest one for me of the night. Come on up. That's a nice two and a quarter. All right, see you, bud. Got him. Yeah, that, that three. You might have something decent. Watch it start fighting towards the bank. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice. What you got? I got fish on a Tokyo rig. Hey. It was a bite. He's eating it. Oh, that one was decent. He's on. He's on. He's on. It's okay. We're going to bring him home through the center. Touchdown. Come on. Yeah. That was funny. Yep. Yep. She's on as well. Double up. Devin's still in the dark sleeper. Devin's got one right behind us on Strike's combo. We had him throwing the Tokyo rig because it's been getting all the bites. And then we double up and Strike's over here without a fish. Come on, bro, hit the triple. Strike got his first one, y'all. Let's see what he's got. Bam. First one. First one ever on the Tokyo, dude. That's so legit. Got him. Awkward hook set. Come on, dude, I'm telling you. That's funny. That was like not long after the drop, dude. I'm telling you, they just come right over to it. See ya. <laughs> got one. There we go. Oh, this one's got a little bit more size or it's just a strong fighter. He's head shaking. A couple pounds. Oh, oh, oh. That's a bigger one. Nice. We'll take that all day. Right at sunset. Oh, he hit it on the move. Has he got it? He's got it. Not terrible, another two pounder. It's almost getting too dark for this GoPro. Let me check the lens. I'm gonna grab our goodies. I think we might make a few more casts. That's gonna do it for our first ever episode featuring the Tokyo rig, y'all, but we've got a lot more of it headed your way. We actually break it out on the big water, taking out the bass boat. So if you're ready for that, go ahead and hit subscribe. We'll catch you on the future videos. We got a lot more bass fishing headed your way. See ya.